So at Google, we've always been working hard to build products for everyone in the world. We try to look at technology and see by using technology, can we make a difference to a fundamental problem in people's lives? Google I.O. is a show all about the future. There are wild, crazy things happening here that could happen in a few years or not at all. We don't know. Uh, the exciting thing is that they're happening. Pushing those things is Google's advanced technology and projects group. They're building a modular smartphone and software with rigs to make jaw-dropping 360-degree movies. But their newest projects unveiled here at this year's shows are really different. Our hand is an amazing instrument. It's very fast and precise, but we're still not able to capture this sensitivity in our user interfaces, which are still quite clunky. The most insane thing ATAP is showing off here is Project Soli. This is a tiny little radar system that can pick up the smallest movements of your hand. Uh, one of the examples they give is something like a watch. Say you want to change the hours or seconds. Uh, you can literally just hold your finger and twist, uh, or pick it up a little higher to twist the seconds. It's the kind of thing that takes you from having to touch your device to touching over it or picking up gestures. Google's already played around with that with Android Wear, but this idea takes it way out of the scope. Project Soli goes hand in hand with another project called Jacquard. This is basically conductive fabric they've created that can be woven into anything, any sort of fabric. We have to make interactive garments possible using existing manufacturing techniques and existing manufacturing supply chains. We have to adapt to the textile industry so every textile mill in the world can weave interactive textiles. ATAP has basically created its own fiber that it says is more conductive than anything else that's out there. Google basically wants this built into shirt sleeves and pants, and they're not just doing this alone either. They're working with Levi's, and today they announced a partnership where we're gonna see some of the first clothes with this coming out. We don't know when, we don't know what they're gonna look like, but imagine a pair of jeans that's actually like a touchpad or a coat where you can control music with your wrist. Uh, that's the big idea here. One of the smallest things here is actually one of the biggest ideas. It's called Project Vault, and it's ATAP's take on mobile security. Project Vault will enable secure communications and storage. They've created a very small computer inside a micro SD card that lets you do everything from encrypt video chats to actual communications uh, without letting your phone or computer see what you're doing. The big idea here is that your data stays with you and you can put it into any sort of device and not worry about whether it's secure. It can be used from mobile to desktop to the Internet of Things. And well, that's a wrap. Almost. This is the phone that basically lets you swap out cameras, batteries, whatever you want to do to make it your phone. Uh, they're almost ready to launch this in Puerto Rico later this year. So today they showed it turning on and taking a picture. That's about as far as we're going. Uh, but the big idea here is really that you'll be able to customize your phone and maybe upgrade a couple pieces here and there a few years later. That's a really big idea. Uh, it's just not ready yet. ATAP has a really interesting vision of the future, but it's a lot to take in. And a lot of these things seem like they're super far out. Uh, even modular smartphones, we thought they'd be here sooner, they're not. That's just the way it is. But it is nice to know that someone's working on these problems.